The last 20 minutes, we got this new video as the man charged with murdering two high school students faced a judge. You can see Jeffrey Hazelwood shaking in court. Roswell police say he shot and killed Carter Davis and Natalie Henderson behind a grocery store Monday. Channel 2's Audrey Washington is live at the Fulton County Jail, and Audrey, the judge, denied bond. And at one point, the suspect appeared to be petting an imaginary dog. And I can tell you, this was a bizarre first appearance. While inside court, Jeffrey Hazelwood, the man charged with double murder, shook continuously and never said a word to the judge. Let's get straight to some of that new video from inside Fulton County Jail. Inside that court appearance, you can see 20-year-old Jeffrey Hazelwood handcuffed his legs and hands shook uncontrollably at times. He even seemed to be talking to himself and petting something in his lap. The judge set no bond in the case. As we report it, Hazelwood is charged with the murders of Carter Davis and Natalie Henderson. The teens were found shot dead behind a Publix on Woodstock Road in Roswell on Monday. Police have not specified a motive in this case. We caught up with the attorney for Hazelwood, who asked the judge not to read the charges against his client. Eight charges that they have alleged you've committed. Um, however, your lawyer has asked that the court waive reading of the charges. I'm going to grant your court your lawyer's request. And it's a sad story. Two people are, two young people are dead, and a young man is charged. Can you talk a little bit about his mental stability? That's all I'm going to say. I'm not in a position to comment on anything else. Now, Hazelwood is due back in court on August 19th. I asked his attorney a little more about his mental stability, about some of that behavior we saw inside court. You'll hear that part of the interview beginning all new at 4 on Channel 2 Action News. Right now, though, we are live here right outside the Fulton County Jail. Audrey Washington, Channel 2 Action News.